Hello, hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, Ascended Stars. This is your Scorpio. You have options reading. Virgo season is um, very critical. It brings us into a place of a lot of thought and how we're going to do things. And we're also kind of... Um, the Virgo energy is very insecure because it doesn't have it perfectly. Okay, so this is going to come on line for everybody but i want you to know that for we were my collective here we got the empress energy so there's a lot of things coming down the pipeline for you you have to open yourself up to these options and i want you to think about these options okay whether you're dating and maybe this might be an um just options that are keep your keep your options open that's all i'm gonna say keep your options open all right so let's see if you want to pick option one see if that resonates option two or option three all right so let's go with um option one and see what that's going to offer you and I got the squeakiest chair in town, but it's comfortable. <laughs> so I apologize for that. And uh, let me just make room here. That I did not do <laughs> prior to the reading. I'm just excited to be bringing you something kind of uh, different and new, in my opinion. So option one, we're going to use Robert Hansen. And we're going to ask for my beautiful Scorpios, if they pick option one, what is in store for them with this connection, with this union? All right, so just uh, bear with me as I get, I get the energies for you. They want another shuffle here. Look, you guys are coming up, Scorpio. <laughs> so cool. All right, let's see. They're like wanting to talk. There we go. Oh, goodness. Option one, um, and you're, this person might not be ready. They're kind of in stuck energy, it looks like. They could be a Leo. Um, they might be start seeing the, see th seeing things that up in the light, uh, or out in the light. They're working hard. They could be very hard worker. Justice. All right. Let's see. Seven of Cups. Oh yeah, you're waiting for this person. You're waiting for like a reply. You're trying to stay positive by working and balancing your life, but. Um, you know, you really do have to look at this person kind of as an option because they're not really replying and being as, as, as into it as you are. And um, the Six of Cups energy, or the Queen of Cups energy. <sighs> Hold on, I need to put the air conditioner on because somebody turned it off. really hot and I don't want to be dying giving you this reading that I didn't want I don't really edit so uh oh, where was I okay that was a death card that came out again major arcana wow okay so we have one two three major arcanas four. Oh my all right there's a lot of juggling with this person this person seems to be going through a lot it's a transformational time for them and um <laughs> excuse me and emotional and emotional uh i gotta tell you this person's intense okay because i see this intensity here it's water water element so 
Um, secrets could be, this person could have secrets. This person could be a mother. All right, so what I see is that, you know, there is a lot of sexual attraction. Things are coming to light. Um, this person holds you as an option. Uh, there's, they're waiting, maybe they're to, to, to make money, to balance their money. This could be a mother, and I'm picking up single mother if, on that. Um, the Queen of Cups energy, she, there's a psychic connection here. This person, either they trust you or you trust them a lot. Like there's a mutual trust, like a mutual, like instant, like trust. Okay, this could be a water sign as well. It could be a water person with um, a Libra rising or a fire sun, a sun rising, a, a Leo rising. Libra or, or, yeah, Libra, they could be a water moon. Pisces, Scorpio, like you, or Cancer, with a rising sign of Libra or Leo. Here's a Cancer. Nice. Okay. So now let's look at more information um, by getting some clarifiers. I do apologize. This chair is driving me crazy. I should bring my WD out here. Okay. Uh, let's see here. It's only when I'm getting really into the reading and deep that thing is the, the, the squeaking comes out because I'm like leaning in, leaning in. Communication, communication. So the Eight of Swords. I don't know what I even picked that for. Let's see. What was I clarifying? I want to clarify the moon. The moon with the moon. Damn. Look at that. Wow. There is intense emotion with within this connection. There, it, when you communicate, either this person is telling you their secrets or you're telling them their your secrets. Meaning that there is a um, communication that has such an intimate way about it. it, it it's things that you. Uh, you vibrate with intuitively. Okay, so. Now, with that being said, what kind of connection? You got two of the soul cards, which typically I only get one. And this is um, like the soul journey within this connection, okay? Now, let, this, is the, uh, this is the energy of the romance here. So it says, stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So this is a kind of like uh, energy of in progress. It's not fully bloomed and it's, it's going to take its sweet time change of mind okay so it it came in backwards it looks like um maybe you're not so positive maybe like you're like maybe someone here is not very optimistic and positive about this connection so it's moving um they're also going through a lot okay this person is also this okay let me just tell you someone has to move through this energy okay so information's coming to this person it could be about their past and secrets um that are that 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 need to be communicated and facing it transforming so you so this this could be something that's a, like an a, a side deal going on that it's not having to do with this connection but this could be an energy that needs to be moved and dealt with before this connection really takes place because it says stay optimistic and change of mind so you it just seems like there's a lot of busyness with within the realm of this of this union so um it doesn't look like it's manifesting uh, yet, right? But it says that, you know, growth is here. You, there seems to be growth with involved if you connect with, if you, this thing, if you decide to take option one. And uh, there, there has to be, there's growth and there's acceptance. Someone needs to accept their emotions. Yeah. Someone really needs to accept their emotions. It's about the past. This person is transforming their energy from the past. but And then they can communicate with you. So that's why they're, they're telling you to stay optimistic. And then you might have a change of mind down the road. You know, like, or this person might have more of a change. They, they, their mind is too preoccupied with something else is what I also get. Okay. They got to they gotta bring justice and balance into their life before they can move forward. They're working a lot uh, right now, 
and maybe since they're working they want they need that money and they're waiting on that money so this person is is quite busy and and um but it just it, you know basically stay optimistic major arcana this is a cool reading nice not too bad um you know spirits being gentle and and uh slow and easy seems to be the option here for this one now option two is a whole nother scenario so let's check this out we have the apocalypse deck here and i love this deck now i should call it truth teller deck <laughs> i don't know all right so let's see now we're option two scorpio please reveal let me know about this connection for them how this is going to work out thank you so much spirit give us the 411 what can be revealed if they choose option two for themselves and how this is going to play out possibly during the first week of september all right here we go eight of cups five of pentacles seven of wands two of wands three of wands nine of swords two of pentacles six of wands a lot of fire here nine of pentacles huh all right okay let me look so whoever you put with option two is huh Man, Scorpio, there's some kind of thing going on with everyone you're connecting with is going through it. And and also, I feel like your vibration is going through it too. So, um, oh, wow. This person, wow, whoever this is, that kind of toe up. <laughs> toe up. <laughs> who are you? Who are you considering? My God. The, who did you put here? <clears throat> okay, so the Eight of Cups energy is somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away. All right, no, I feel like either you or them, somebody walked away from them and made them feel like you're left out in the cold, made them feel um, left out. So this is, this person, okay, I'll tell you right now, they are dealing with abandonment issues, all right? They are dealing with the pain of that abandonment, maybe triggered some other abandonment because here we have the seven of wands, there goes the squeaking, okay. I, I'm sorry, I shouldn't do that. Okay, um, seven of wands. They have they're 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 kind of they're they're bent, they're angry they're angry they're angry um, they're left okay they're bitter okay they're salty and they're bitter and they're angry all right so they're 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 a little bit in this like this is why we have all this fire it's like oh like it's built up and they're like oh gosh that's not doing right here uh two of wands so they want they're really conflicted to be honest with you we have two twos here this person is very potentially capable of going back to their ex is what i get so they want something, you know, kind of like, I don't know if this is you or them, like you want something with them, but it really at, at night you're thinking and you're worried about it and it causes a lot of anxiety for you or for them. And with these two twos, they're not quite making this choice. Like they're keeping their distance
they're keeping their distance because they're they're wounded from from this abandonment from somebody leaving that, that leaving or this could be they had to they were forced to leave they you know third party maybe i'm almost picking up like that kind of stuff like this person kind of cheated on them i feel like okay um and they do they they have a they're like healing their heart and they're uh in the in the 3d this person looks really good okay this person looks like they have it all together okay like they they they, they got it all going on but i feel like you know and they're they're independent they're financially independent here but i feel like this isn't really the the, the real this is i'm giving you at night they have anxiety um they don't they're not really moving they're in this stuck energy of two two like not making a thing to move uh, you got this energy, will I stay, will I go? This person seems like weak of will when it comes to somebody that did something to them in the past. Okay, so let's see what we have for the love. Reconciliation. Yeah. Interesting. So this is energy of reconciliation. So you're thinking of going, your, your option two is you're thinking of going back to someone, okay, who fucking walked away from you and left you out in the cold. Wow. Why would you do that? Why would you want to, I don't know, it's human nature is crazy. All right. You want a second chance, yeah. Okay, so it could be both ways. Somebody who left you out in the cold, who was a jerk to you, is coming back for that second opportunity with you, Scorpio going to cause a lot of emotional turmoil for you a lot of emotional turmoil for you okay so um now we're going to use the the deck now we're going to use this one because i have it on what you should do regarding this situation the judgment and um this reconciliation coming towards you and then i'm going to change the chair because I, I don't think i can take it one more minute with the crackling i'm so upset that it happens it's a very verbal trade i'm sorry all right, so let's see advice for Scorpio regarding the second opportunity that somebody's coming in that's going to end up making uh, Scorpio quite emotionally, it's going to rock your world, okay? It really, it's not, that's not cool. It's not cool because it really, they hurt you. They hurt you deeply. <laughs> it's going to contact you through the internet. It could be um, they're working towards December. But I think they're coming to contact you for forgiveness, you know. And I think that your angels working, your angels are working to kind of um, lessen lessen the blow, like lessen it. Yeah, because like this is inevitable. This is happening. Okay, this this type of energy, three of wands. It's 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 happening down the line. Maybe in three weeks, in three days, um, three months, which would be the sad time, like kind of the end of December so option two if you want to work it out they're going to come back and reconcile but you have a lot of anxiety you have to work out you know um, and you're really dealing with what you didn't get in the past so it's a lot of work on this one there's you know I, I'm not going to it's going to hurt. I feel like you have to take this hurt and, you know, do all those things. Forgiveness and um, let bygones be bygones. So if you can do that, kudos. I hope it works out. All right. Because I know, you know, you guys, Scorpio loves deeply. And, I, you know, what can you do? Scorpio loves deeply. All right. Option three. Option three is the gilded tarot and the rider weight that will clarify if we need it all right so let's shuffle here and see what option <clears throat> three holds for you oh look at that that one's right in the middle perfect Thank you so much, Spirit. So we're looking at Scorpio Collective and see what is going to happen if they choose the person that 
they're associating with option three. I'm just going to let it go. Okay, we're not going to let all that go, but I will let that go. Here we go. A lot of cards, man. This just, as soon as I said person three, option three and your options, all this stuff came out. So let's, wow, I like that. <laughs> I love it. Oh, let's see. These are going to be clarifiers. Okay, so let's see. Not, oh my, this is a lot of anxiety. Nine of Swords. Ooh, very spiritual connection. Wow. Leading towards marriage and deep. Wow. You've been guided by spirit, okay? Spirit is, is, is kind of giving you like little signs, do this, or... Mm. After a time of anxiety and pain... <clears throat> excuse me you're going to come to a spiritual place and there seems to be some kind of spiritual guidance or um, counsel here that is opening that pathway for you it's kind of like you you're, you're resistant so there's this resistance of moving forward of, of accepting it yeah um you're gonna you're going to to be victorious in this whole connection i mean it looks like two of pentacles so it looks like you're just still balancing you need to come to a place of balance you need to come to a place of feeling like your money's in order and you have solid foundation under your feet or else you're not going to really move because you don't you know that's 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 just like a very kind of virgo trait but in the, this month it's it's taken on to your um identity a little bit more sticking to your way of being so uh you're not you know he this guy's looking uh holding his balancing the money and he's looking at the past so um there's no confidence here with the money really going on so i think that's really the focus for scorpio right now You know, you're really like not accepting this offer. It seems like you're more preoccupied with making money, okay, than taking this offer. That could be a Taurus person and they possibly, there could be a big age gap. There could be a, a rather large age gap here or just an age gap in general. Okay. And the, it would be the male being much younger than the female, I get. All right. So, <clears throat> excuse me. My, see, the universe doesn't want me to say these things. All right. <clears throat> Let's look at this uh, King of Swords. So you're, you're, you're being standoffish. You're being standoffish. Look at this. Like, you know, you got really good vibes with the situation. Like your Ten of Cups is here. You're not accepting it. You know, you or them are not accepting this this beautiful connection here, it looks like. Um, overthinking. <sighs> There's a little bit of this stagnancy energy when I see this King of Swords. Meaning... What I pick up is that this King of Swords still has something to say to his or her past. Someone or a situation in his and her past needs to be confronted, um, dealt with. It could be part of the shadow side of you or uh, something that is like um, shadow work. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that it's coming from the past and you got to deal with it, okay? Because in order to receive this Ten of Cups, it seems like you got to close out a chapter from the past. That's all, okay? And it's not a bad thing. It's really kind of um, just adulting. It's part of this adulting thing, okay? Like, really, nothing, you know, like, energy is recycled. So you got to close and make sure, like, something's, the past is closed and sealed, and then you can move into your Ten of Cups and, 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 and enjoy that life, you know? Because... There's a lot of passion here. There's a lot of possibilities here. Um, and it can grow, okay? It can grow. But 
I do feel you have to tie up some things in the past. There's some loose ends. Someone has to go back and deal with something that they're not really, that's why they can't accept this offer. It's really too difficult, but there, you will be victorious. This will be victorious. It'll be so victorious that it'll be such a spiritual, beautiful bond and connection, which is insanely gorgeous. So let's um, look at this nine of swords. We got the 10 of swords. This is progressively getting more anxiety and worse, okay? Because if, if you're not connecting and, 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 and having commune with, with your spiritual commune with something that is higher than you, um, faith and and you know so there's this this is imbalance there the sun yeah you have to stay positive okay you have to really focus on the positive things that are happening and uh it's about making money producing and also they whoever whoever's watching they do see you as their empress they see you as their empress okay but they this could be a um an air sign could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Now let's move on to the romance. It says engagement. Yeah, this definitely has so much potential for engagement. So I think you need to pray over it. Send white light to whoever it is that you're contending with, dealing with, because um, they're dealing with a lot. But they want it. They, I mean, they do feel a lot for you. They know that you're their happiness. They know it. Like they, they see that. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful reading. They have regret. That's why they have to wrap something up in the past. And vibrational. This thing is calling to them. Like they have to, it's like calling to them saying, I need you to get in a different vibration. Because this person regrets something, okay? I'll tell you, this person regrets something, but it's not really their fault. It's not really, it's not really, it was, it's not really them. It's not really, this is why this torturing pain of like 10 of swords and um, is here. Yeah, okay, so it's kind of sad. Like you really gotta like pray for this person. I don't know what to tell you. This is a, such a beautiful connection but this, it, they're going through it they're going through it really seriously going through it all right so what kind of advice can we get for this person here who's picking option three with uh this person who's going through it spirit they're okay so you're gonna have to be patient they haven't moved into this full energy they want to because they, they got to flip this it's upside down it came in upside down for a reason even though the deck is kind of look transform it's a very transformative thing it's deep it's very deep it could be much from uh the past it could be you know because pisces pisces I, i'm not going to go into the astrology but this is i feel like it's very much kind of going into a dark place for them yeah yeah but they do see you as the queen of wands and they also have a lot of creativity this is stopping them from getting to that place where they can really expand and get to that creative level they have to face this obstacle and it's like the last hurdle before they can really become successful and be able to come to you and be that king of um, pentacles which is meaning like wanting to be husband or if the other way around wanting to be uh, a wife wanting to have that yeah they're heartbroken right now they are definitely um it's going to be slow moving because they got to they got to take care of that heart this is having to do with just fixing that broken heart okay so be patient with option three. And it seems like my option threes are the slowest moving ones. And um, all right. So I guess I'll leave you with that. 30 minutes into it. Much love and light. Tell me how much you like it, if it resonated or not. And no, you have options, baby. You have options. And don't you ever forget it. Don't you ever let the enemy think you ain't got no options. Okay. Much love and light. Take care. Bye.